Welcome back guys to another video and today Bitmain released another new ASIC and this new ASIC will be called Antminer B3 and it will be used for Python coin. So if you don't know about Python coin it is in the first 30 coins on the coin market cap and currently it has almost 1 billion dollars of market cap. So this coin is launching the mainnet today and from today you can mine it only with your CPU or with those ASICs. And there is still no GPU miner for NVIDIA or for AMD cards. So there is no way that you can compete with those ASICs. In any way, they will probably mine thousands of times more than you can mine with your CPU. And it looks like Bitmain is really taking every single coin that we can mine profitably away from us. And now they are even at the coins that are not in the first 10 or even in first 20 on coin market cap. It looks like they really want to take all of the first 100 coins from us and almost all of the algorithms. But of course, thanks to developers like the Monero developers, we have still some hope for us and for GPU mining. So this new B3 miner is doing 780 hashes per second with only 360 watt. So 780 hashes per second doesn't mean anything because we still can't test that with our GPUs so we don't know how much stronger that B3 miner actually is than a GPU. And at 360 watts only this is the lowest power consumption miner that Bitman has ever made. And the cost is $2700. And also we don't know if that is a lot or really, really small amount for this miner because we still don't know how profitable Byte mining will be. But the interesting thing is that they are only making 2500 units and they are selling them not on their website but most likely in a pre-sale to some people that want to buy them. So if you go to Bitman website you cannot find this miner anywhere here that it is not listed and it is probably only for people that they want to sell them to or maybe to people that uh, bought a lot of other miners before. So maybe the reason why Byton got so many of those miners on the day one of the mainnet is just for the coin security and they didn't want people to uh, to actually mine thousands of those coins before this coin gets really popular in the mining scene. This is something that happened with uh, Ravencoin which uh, got really really popular really fast but some people mined thousands of them before other people got even aware that you can profitably mine that coin. Now if this stays at only 2500 ASICs then this is not a big problem. But if they continue to produce those ASICs then we will not be able to mine this coin profitably with our GPUs or CPUs ever again. But if it stays at 2500 and maybe something like 10, 20 or like 100,000 miners switches to byte mining and if it will be enough profitable then those ASICs will be just a little addition to the hash power and not the main part. Because if more than 50% of the hashing power comes from those 2500 ASICs then of course Bitman has full control of the byte and not the developers. So hopefully they will start selling those miners to other people, not just in pre-sale events and maybe uh, some, some of you can grab one or two of those miners. And until the profitability charts for this coin come out, we really don't know what more we can say about it. If you can make like $100, $200 per day or maybe if you can just make like dollar or two per day. But the more coins they take from us, the less chance we have to even fight against the centralization of Bitcoin mining and the hashing power that stays mostly in China. So thank you guys for watching this video. It was a little bit short, but there is not a lot more that we can talk about it. And hopefully we get more info about this Byte B3 miner real soon. So see you soon in another one and bye.